Buongiorno guys, it's Max Sinestra, I'm in Athens, Greece, and today we're going for a Greek street food tour of the city. Andiamo! For breakfast we're going to an institution here in Athens, Stani. Andiamo! Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. We had to start our Greek food tour with this beautiful Greek yogurt loaded with honey and finished with some chestnut. Mamma mia, looks incredible. This is a top cream of milk and finished with thick layer of honey on top. And then of course, I have to go with an amazing espresso. All right, let's start. Let's get some honey. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Oh wow, it's almost kind of tart, it's not too sour, definitely got the punch of uh, sweetness because of the honey, I love the chestnut, a bit of crunchiness and nuttiness, this is what I needed to start my day with, let's go for this one now, oh, it's like whipped cream, it's very soft. Mm. Mm. Oh, I didn't expect the consistency. Man, this is like whipped cream. This is on another level. Huh? This is very good. Huh? <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> to balance all the sweetness, let's get a bit of coffee. Always without sugar, so you can really test the coffee. What an amazing breakfast. Oh. <laughs> Look at the fresh seafood. Let's go. So we just got inside the central market of Athens. There is a huge section where they sell probably the best and fresh seafood in Athens. So let's take a look. Oh my God, look at the prawns. They have everything. And the and the Come Oh, look at the tuna. Ooh. Tuna? Oh, wow. Baby tuna. Baby tuna. All right. You got uh, local fish from all over the country as also imported fish. Well, let's go. I feel like to have uh, some seafood. Oh, wow, look at the crabs. Oh my god. Look. I'm loving this market. I have never been in a fish market like this. Let's go, let's keep exploring. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the town. That's big. <laughs> As you notice, we just entered the meat heaven, the meat section. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we have free range meat, super fresh pork, lamb, chicken, everything. If you're not used to, it can be overwhelming, but I love it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, pazza. Thank you so much. Second breakfast. Take a look. This is called pazza. As the gentleman told us, it's a mix of beef intestine, 
and trotta. I think there is also tripine, but what we have to do is put in a bit of vinegar with the garlic. That's nice. Oh. oh wow, the smell is intense. A bit of lemon and chili, chili flakes. Let's mix a lot up and let's take a big bite. Okay, I, I can tell that he has a bit of an odor. Buon appetito. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Everything just uh, dissolves completely in your mouth. Definitely, this garlic and vinegar sauce is a very nice kick. That's what you need. I would say to kill the odor. Moving on, take a look at this beauty. An amazing fish soup with potatoes, parsley, carrots. Look at this big chunk of fish. Oh, mamma mia, it's massive. Oh. Oh. Mamma mia. I don't know what kind of fish is this, but so meaty. Let's get a bit of the broth. And voila, buon appetito. Mm. Oh, this is nice. It really reminds me of my childhood. The meat is extremely tender. There's a lot of meat in it. And it doesn't get any pressure than that. The fish comes from this market. It's very good, eh? Yeah. Are you so famous you have to press your photographer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering. Uh, no. No. Husband and wife. Huh? Husband and wife. Ah, okay. <laughs> if you ever in Athens and you come to the market, because it's a must-do thing, you gotta come and check this place out. They have amazing hospitality and food. And yum. Take a look at our beautiful meze. All right, we got a plate with taganaki which is a grilled cheese that we have sausage, homemade meatballs and uh, bread. Then moving on, prawns, marinated anchovies, I think, mussels, pickles and olives. And then we have uzo. It's a star anise flavor alcoholic drink. I'm really tempted by these anchovies. Buon appetito. Oh, oh mamma mia. They're a bit smoky, a bit salty, a bit of olive oil on top. It's really nice. And the bread is so fresh. Mm. Now I want to try mussels. I'm a huge fan of mussels. Mm. Oh. Just so fresh. And they're very simple. A bit of salt, a little lemon on it. Really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to this beautiful Deep meatball, buon appetito. Oh, oh, mamma mia, extremely tender. I think they put a bit of onion in it, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a bit of flour. Oh, number one. We need to wash everything down with this beautiful uso. Alla salute, cheers. Ah. I just wanted to say, this is a very cool experience. You have to do this inside the market. It really reminds me of um, when I used to have aperitifs with my friends, a drink on the side. Really, really cool. Ah. Oh, don't you feel like a coffee, Shirley? Andiamo. Da, andiamo, I feel like a coffee. Hello. This place is amazing. And the smell is very nice, the smell of coffee. So this coffee shop has been opening 
since 1923. So, Andre Diaz next year. We found this busy local coffee shop right outside of the market where they make traditional Greek coffee. They make it on sand, very similar to the Turkish one. That's nice. Let's try one of these. Mm. Oh, super fresh. I just wanted to say that we are loving our first day here in Athens. Locals are amazing, super friendly. The food is fresh, nice, delicious. I can't wait to explore more and to share everything with you. Now we're going to a very secret place. Andiamo. Super excited. See, even the cat is excited. Oh. Look, Calimera. Thank you so much. Take a look. Beans with carrots, onion, pepper, olive oil. Also what we have, homemade white wine. And on the other side, we have chickpeas with onion and pepper. This is a place I've been wanting to come for a very long time. There's no menu. They probably make different dishes every day. It's a very old school tavern. Let's step in back in time. This is all vegetarian, all simple, probably all organic. Buon appetito. Oh, mamma mia. Very good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or two. <laughs> they completely dissolve in your mouth. They have light, hearty, simple food. This is home cooked food. Oh, let's try the chickpeas. Mm. Oh, so hot. Mmm. They're a bit crunchy still and then creamy at the same time. Let me try a bit of the homemade wine, house wine. Oh, oh there's nothing better than common to this kind of place. It's very old, over 100 years old. Hard to find, but once you found it, it's like you step into a museum. And for dessert, we came to a legendary place, Krinos, that has been selling lucumadas since 1923. These beautiful donuts served with honey, cinnamon, and vanilla ice cream. You can also have it with Nutella and many other toppings. All right, let's try it out. Mm. It's soft. We saw them making, so they're very fresh. Oh, let's get a bit of ice cream as well. Mamma mia, this is a bomb. <laughs> it's a bit crunchy on the outside, kind of pillowy and airy on the inside. The ice cream is very cold, hits you here, you know, around your eyes. <laughs> oh, it's really nice. I love the contrast in uh, texture, cold and hot. They've been the same ever since they opened, 1923. I just love it. You know, with the old pictures on the wall, that's the history of the place.
λοιπόν. Θα τα βάλουμε σε διαφορετικέ τάδε. 10, μία, 12 ή άλλη. Γιατί δεν, δεν γίνεται να τελειχθούμε 10 κιλάκια, δεν έχω δει After waiting in line for 30 minutes, we finally got our first Greek souvlaki here in Athens. Take a look. Minced beef, so with onion, tomatoes, chili, parsley, all wrapped up in this pita bread. Buon appetito. Oh man, mamma <laughs> mia. The beef is so juicy. I love the pita bread. Soft, fresh, a bit charred. I love the tomatoes, the onion. They don't put any sauce. The best way to wash everything down is a beautiful local beer. Already had half because we've been waiting in line for quite some time. And this is the perfect way to end our first Greek street food tour. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of our Greek food series. We have a few more videos coming up for you, so make sure to stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching as always, and see you next Sunday. Ciao!